um, right now, um, our army medics, for our, for our brave men and women serving abroad, if one of our soldiers gets shot, um, what they do is they treat it. The treatment is almost as painful as the shot itself. They pack it with gauze directly on the, over the wound cavity, um, sometimes as deep as five inches into the body, to stop the bleeding um, from the artery. And if, you know, it's an agonizing process, can you just imagine how painful that is? Just somebody shoving gauze into a bullet wound? Oh, FML. Um, and then if it doesn't work, they pull out all the gauze and start over again by repacking it the same exact way. It's to the point where it's so painful that they take the guns away from the soldiers first because, I mean, I'm pretty sure, like, oh, shoot, I'm just going to shoot myself because this thing is painful as hell. So, and also during these times, a lot of times, the soldiers still end up dying because they hemorrhage. And folks who don't know, hemorrhaging means they bleed out. They bleed to death. And it's leading cause of death on the, on the battlefield. So a couple of veterans, um, scientists and engineers, came together to try to find a way to solve this problem. The name of the company was RevMedX. So check it out, RevMedX um, recently asked the FDA to approve a pocket-sized intervention to bullet wounds on in the battlefield. And this is what they, it's a really cool idea. It's a modified syringe that injects um, specially coated sponges into the wound called Xstat. The device um, could boost survival and spur and spare injured soldiers from additional pain by plugging the wound faster and more effectively than gauze. Now, the teams, the whole, the whole, the, the, how they came up with this idea was off of, they were inspired by Fix-A-Flat, which is a little spray can that you use to repair a tire if there's a hole in it. Um, and they said this would be the perfect solution to fix this issue. And so what they found is they, you know, they did a couple of tests, and basically what they use is they use really small, really small circular sponges. Um, and they take those circular sponges and they insert them into the room in a syringe-like feature. So it's a, very, it's a syringe-like feature, um, and they sort of push it into the wound. And as they push into the wound, they allow the, the you know, it, it, oh, it expands quicker than gauze to sort of seep in the blood. Um, it also, it's coated, it's coated with, um, it's, it's co it, it, so it allows the blood to clot. It has some blood clotting medicine in the sponge to help the blood clot even quicker. And beyond that, I love it. They just move the pieces up, right? And beyond that, it also had, they're also made with x-ray sensitive sponges. So, you know, when you get to the actual hospital and they remove the gauze or remove these sponges, they can see and make sure they get them all. A great way to save our soldiers. A way to see what the FDA does. The U.S. military already supported. They've given $5 million to the project. A great way to save our soldiers' lives. Remember, folks, no matter what you do in each and every day, remember our troops. And remember what they do to make sure they preserve American freedoms, even though sometimes they're in senseless wars, like the two we're in now. Um, they are there to protect our freedoms and to protect our Constitution. And so we salute them here at The Fowler Show. Thank you.